Amiens in France, the maxillofacial department at the University Hospital. After radiotherapy for cancer, this patient has necrosis in his jaw. He must be operated upon immediately before the lower jaw decomposes totally. On the scan of the jaw, the red is the necrotized area. The scan is sent to Louvain in Belgium via the internet. The data have now reached Belgium where an SME has developed software to translate the medical images into instructions for the prototype machine. A laser beam moves across a bath of liquid resin. It draws the exact shape of the cranium, millimeter by millimeter. The technical exploit doesn't stop there. The resin takes on a red color where the bone tissue in the jaw is necrotized. After a night of work, an exact copy of the patient's organ comes out of the machine, a three-dimensional, life-size model. The surgeon now has a precious instrument at his disposal in preparing the operation. Chaque menton de chaque individu est différent et grâce au modèle, il nous a été possible d'apprécier l'étendue exacte de l'infection, de préciser l'endroit où nous allons retirer l'os malade. On the day before the operation, the surgeon and his team rehearsed the essential maneuvers and difficult technical tasks. À partir du moment où euh, on est beaucoup plus fiable sur la préparation de l'intervention chirurgicale et sur la qualité de la reconstruction, il est tout à fait certain que euh, l'on en tire des bénéfices sur euh, la durée d'hospitalisation, quelquefois même sur euh, le nombre d'interventions chirurgicales où l'on évite par exemple des prises d'empreintes qui nécessitaient euh, antérieurement euh, des actes chirurgicaux supplémentaires. Back in France, the day of the operation, which is a highly delicate one. A piece of bone is taken from the fibula for grafting onto the lower jaw. The necrotized part of the jaw has been sectioned. The fibula bone is shaped to form the missing chin. The vascularized bone tissue will be grafted onto the healthy part of the jaw using a titanium splint. The splint was preformed the day before using the resin model. The fixing points have also been established using the prototype. Finally, the surgeon sutures the blood vessels. A new jaw is ready to form. A scan of the reconstituted jaw will be sent back to Belgium where a second prototype will serve to indicate the appropriate locations for fixing dental prostheses. Specializing in the computerized design of prototypes, this Belgian SME decided in 1992 to extend the technique into the medical domain. It linked up with two industrial giants, Siemens from Germany and Zeneca from Britain, in a project called FIDIAS, half of which was financed by the European Commission. When we started the FIDIAS project, we had four or five people. Uh, today we are employing more than 30 people, uh, mainly here um, in Leuven, but we also have a sales office in uh, Detroit in the United States. The company has succeeded in transferring technology from industry to medicine and is now the world leader in this high-tech field. We started as a company that was using uh, technology from California and that today uh, we mainly work with our own technology and that we are even selling this technology to uh, Japanese, American, European companies.